on coordinated tuning of power system controllers using genetic algorithms. And the presenter is Enrique Chaparro. He received his PhD from University of Asuncion, Paraguay. Um, and uh, currently he is a senior engineer uh, in the Polytechnic Faculty of National University of East uh, as a research prof professor. And his research interests include artificial intelligence applications on large scale electric power systems and mathematical representations of electric equipment for optimization and stability analysis, and also analytical methods for voltage collapse predictions. Great, Enrique, please. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. So this work is referred to a kind of computational procedure for coordinating tuning of power system controllers using genetic, parallel genetic algorithms. This is the summary of this work. We talk about first introduction objectives of this work, power system controller models, tuning methods for each controllers, coordinating tuning procedure proposed, the multi jetted genetic algorithm is uh, developed, the parallel boga, the electric power system uses as a test, simulation and numerical results, and finally the conclusions. So, the interconnected system the frequency operate close its operating limits. So, suddenly occur a certain contingency that modifies its topology and affect the stability. The stability operates causing electromechanical oscillations and gradual voltage drop, even cause a voltage collapse. In certain case. There are two objectives to persuade this work. The quick damping, the quick damping of the electromechanical oscillations and overcome the voltage dynamic behavior. Adjusting simultaneously the parameters of automatic voltage regulators and the PSS located into the excitation system of each generator unit and the parameters of voltage regulator of the static power compensator, which are installed at certain substation of the electric system. All of these considering at the same time, several and critical operating conditions of the system. Models, the EBR model it is described by a first order lag block where the unknown parameters are the gain and the time constants of the ABR. So the PSS is described by a two lead lag block. That is the compensation blocks connected into in series to the washout block and the amplificator gain. In this case, the economic parameters are the gain of the PSS, the angular frequency of the electromech electromechanical mode, this is the omega, and the compensation phase alpha. With alpha and omega, we can calculate the time constant of the compensation block, the numerator and denominator time constant. But the time constant of the washout block is considered now, and it fixes in three seconds in this work. The model of the static power compensators, or in this case, that is the regulator voltage of the static power compensator is the same as the ABR model, a first order lag block. And the known parameters are the gain and the time constant. The ever tuning procedure is in time domain. Firstly, we built a generator unit connected to an infinite bus by a transmission line, which reactance is proportional to the T-axis transit reactance of the corresponding generator. And then we simulate a 10% incremental step of voltage reference of the 
of the AVR, and we obtain this response. And then we calculate the dashed area, this area, that we denominate the integrated area. We make this procedure with all generators of the electric system. So we obtain different integrated areas, and then we calculate the inverse of that integrated areas. Then we select the maximum of this integrated area, and we get the first objective function of, for this optimization procedure. The adjusting procedure for PSS and static bar compensator is in frequency domain. And we calculate the closed loop step matrix at certain operating conditions. And in this closed step matrix inside of this, we have a group of differential equations that represent in the dynamic performance of the PCS, the, the PSS, the dynamic performance of the static bar compensator, and one differential equation presenting the dynamic performance of the EVR. This group of equation, uh, differential equations is equal to the number of AVR, PSS, and static bar compensators selected for optimization. So, club state, the club state matrix uh, we obtain for all operating conditions selected. We use then the QR algorithm for calculating all agent values for all operating conditions. Then we choose the minimum damping ratio be between all of them, and then we obtain the second objective function of this optimization procedure. In this optimization procedure, we use the genetic algorithm. We considered the solution vector composed by all agnum parameters as an individual of genetic algorithm. So in this genetic algorithm, we, have, uh, we fix it in 40H individual for computation. All individuals, we obtain randomly between these limits. And then we obtain the, populate, the initial population of the genetic algorithm in uh, initializing the Proceed the optimization procedure. After obtaining the initial population, we calculate the fitness for each individual. The fitness is a linear combination of two objected functions. This is the this is the what is some technique to transform the the mono-objected genetic algorithm to, or, uh, to multi objective genetic, genetic algorithm. In order to normalize the fitness for each individual, we calculate in each generation the weighted coefficient, A1 and A2. We get first the maximum values for F1 and F2 and then we calculate the inverse of these uh, functions, and then we obtain the coefficient A1 and A2 respectively. After that, we apply the genetic operators to produce new individuals for the next generations. We apply the selection, stochastic tournament with four individuals, crossover, one point method with probabilities of 70%, mutation single and constant mutation with probability of 1% and elitins, which preserves the individual with maximum fitness in each generation. These algorithms stop when it's reached the maximum number of generations. There is 40, uh, generations in this work. All of these algorithms, the genetic algorithm, 
was implemented using the Octavio, that is a similar software of Pantelab. The coordinated tuning of controllers and conserving simultaneously several operating conditions may become a large scale optimization problem. That's the reason why we adapt the genetic algorithm for parallel computing. We use for that the, Pel the Pelican HPC platform. We also use a local area network, a cluster of computers with a communication switch of 100 megabits fast ethernet. We locate into each computer of the land the multi-genetic genetic algorithm acting over a population reduce. The reduced, pop the reduced population size is obtained by dividing the global population between the number of computers available in the lab. So after 10 generations in this algorithm, the optimization process is stopped in order to transmit the best individual of the current generation from one computer to others computers in the lab. Each computer then receives a number of individuals equals to the number of computers available in the land, less one. We apply the select, the selection operator and select the, the best individual that substitute the worst individual of the current generation. The parallel genetic algorithm stop when reaches the maximum number of generations, that is 40 generation, the same as the uh, sequential version. This is the, the, the electric system test, the New England, composed by 39 buses and 10 generators. But one, of, uh, one generator represents the New York City inter interconnected to the New England with a huge inertia. So because of that, there are nine generators selected or considered in the optimization procedure. And then we have a nine AVR and nine PSS for adjusted. In this work, we consider three static bar compensators located at six, at buses six, seven, and 20 bus. And simultaneously, and simultaneously, we considered six operating conditions for optimization process. Numerical results. In this table, the left table, it shows that the parallel versions is faster than the sequential version, obviously. The damping tragedy obtained by the parallel version are better than the sequential version and the, and the integrated area are better on average than the sequential version too. The right graph uh, describes that the proposed algorithm, the parallel proposed algorithm, has a sublinear speed up in comparison to the ideal, ideal linear speed up. In order to verify the adjusted parameters, we show the simulation of the fourth operating scenario. So the disconnection of transmission line 611 of the electric test, electric system test. Left graph shows the damping of the rotor angle. The solid line is referred to the uh, stability case and the dashed, and the dashed, the, the dashed curve represented the, or is regarded to the stability cases. The stability cases associated to the system without PSS and static bar compensators. 
The right graph shows the bus voltage response, dynamic voltage performance, a damping that offer better profile than the dashed curves represented the instability case when the system doesn't have any compensators or, re or regulators. We also saw, show the, simu the simulation results of the fifth operating scenario. The sudden step incremented of 10% of the total load of the power electric system. In this case, reproduce the same good performance like before. Finally, conclusions. The parallel coordinating tuning algorithm proposed damped quickly the electromechanical oscillations with adjusted controllers made by, made by the proposed coordinating tuning algorithm. The proposed adjusting method for ABR and SBC overcome the dynamic response and voltage profiles of the entire system. The parallel multi-jetted generated algorithm reduced significantly the computation time and obtained better solutions than the sequential version. The parallel algorithm implemented has a sublinear performance closely to either linear speed up until now. Okay, thank you for your attention. So, go by you, <laughs> Steve. Okay, thank you, Enrique. Um, thank you. Great. So, we have uh, questions. Okay. Uh, so, the first question from Hossein. Thanks for the presentation. How do you mathematically formulate the integrated area and the dam coefficients in the optimization problem? It's between the, the area of the voltage reference and the area IS. described by the voltage response of the static bar compensation, the, the ABR. Is a right. I, I assume so. I assume it's uh, near the early part of your presentation where you compute the integration of the area. I think it's F1 or F2 or, or uh, if you go back to your earlier part of your presentation, I assume that is what Hossein is referring to or maybe Hossein can try to, uh, uh, yes, okay, so Hossein say yes. Yes. This is the difference between the area described by the voltage reference of the ABR and the area described by the voltage response of the stator of the generator. It's a difference between two areas. Right, I guess uh, maybe the question is that, how do you mathematically formulate these areas uh, for the optimization? or maybe you just do every iteration, you just compute uh, a number instead of formulate that mathematically for your optimization problem? Uh, I'm guessing that's the question. Can you repeat the question? Because okay. my English is not good. <laughs> uh, so no problem. So, um, I, so the question is that how do you represent, let's say that areas that you discussed mathematically in your optimization problem. Um, so I'm guessing the, the question is about, do you need to formulate, formulate the area uh, in close form? Ah, yes, uh, yes, I understand. I think mm -hmm. I understand. Now, we, we make a simulation, a time simulation, be, uh, because it's impossible to obtain, uh, to, to make that, uh, to calculate that area without a simulation. So I need to make a simulation for that single system, for each single system. I don't know if, uh, if I respond to your question. Okay, great. Um, yes, so if Hossein, please um, just type if you have follow-up questions. Okay, great. So the next question is from Zhao Yuan. How to tune the parameters of your genetic algorithm? For example, 
the limits of the parameters in slide 10. Okay, we, uh, we use the, in this case, we use the, the maximum, the maximum value, the maximum values for gain and the limit of the, for PSS, for example, for alpha and omega, the or, or, or constant or, or time constant, for the literature, I don't know how can I respond this because I straight so, mm -hmm. from Go other ahead. from other works. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I guess maybe just an example of how do you choose the parameters for the uh, simulation results that you you present. For example, this uh, this is a, this is so, another question. Uh, I think. In this case, this parameter for the, for the for the gain of AB error, we choose this limit that is the maximum gain that um, that made the, um, the response of the of the of the voltage regulator close to the any variation of the voltage references of the AVR because for more or high gain the response of the of the generator the the voltage response of the generator is closer to the any variation of the voltage reference more or less for that i don't know okay. if 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 one of the of the question because response for all parameters is is uh, the response is very long longer right. okay great sure um the last question um is also from Zhao Yuan how do you parallelize the execution is it a direct setting in the software or do you need to manually code the parallelization and what is the impact of simulation time step on the results? Do you try different time steps, for example? That's an interesting question. <laughs> the first question, how do you parallelize the execution? The execution? I do not understand because I, I describe in the, in the slides. Is it a direct settings in the software or you need to manually code? So maybe Zhao Yuan can clarify the question by typing in the Q&A. Um, maybe why, maybe you can comment a little bit on what is the impact of simulation time steps on the result? So, it's necessary to clarify this is a preliminary result. So the, the impact of simulation time step on the result, I think, um, I think, uh, I think the Xiao Yuan is referred to the, to the step, the time simulation, the, the, the time step of the simulation of the ABR, of the response of the ABR. In this case, when, when the step is more is, is smaller, the global computation times of the parallel generated algorithm is increased. But when the when the the, the time step of the ABR model um, of the ABR simulation is more huge, was huge, the um, the impact of the time computation of the genetic algorithm, the parallel genetic algorithm is, is reduced the time, the time computation, the global time computation. I don't know if it's, it's, it's correct, my response regarding to this question. Now, the shells John make a, another question. I mean, do you need to, to manually separate the code into parallel blocks? No. 
uh, in this case, all each genetic algorithm is located into the uh, into each computer automatically. The 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 Pelican HPC trade automatic uh, divide automatically the uh, the algorithm into each computer of the lab. But uh, the the algorithm um, the algorithm required, but yes, the algorithm required that you make make how time or how time you make the trans the transmission between one computer to the rest. Okay, sounds great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You.